हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू द स्टडी ऑफ बायोमोलिक्यूल्स चैप्टर सो वे आर डीलिंग विथ स्टडी ऑफ सेकेंड बायोमोलिक्यूल दैट इज प्रोटीन ओके टूडे इज क्लास इज पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ बायोमोलिक्यूल्स चैप्टर वील हैव जस्ट रिकैप ऑफ अवर प्रीवियस क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड what are proteins proteins are a nitrogenous uh, organic compound complex organic compound required for the growth of the body normal maintenance of all living system it's a basis of structure and function of body and we know that proteins are polymers of alpha amino acids later we have uh, seen what are the chief sources of proteins then we discussed about amino acids their structure structures of 20 naturally occurring alpha amino acids then we discussed about classification of amino acid that is based on nature of amino acid into neutral acidic and basic amino acids second classification that we have studied is based on the structure of amino acid into aliphatic aromatic and heterocyclic and the third classification we studied was a uh, based on biological importance into essential amino acids and non essential amino acids later we discussed about properties of proteins we studied zwitter ion property as well as optical activity property okay so this is about the previous concept uh, previous class glands so today we'll continue with structure of proteins so in previous class we have studied that proteins are a polymers of alpha amino acids isn't it so we have studied about uh, structure of alpha amino acid classification of alpha amino acid as well as uh, some properties of alpha amino acid today we'll discuss structure of protein how a protein is formed chemically okay so today's concept structure of proteins amino acids are connected to each other by a bond a link called as a peptide bond or a peptide link okay so just recall your memory in carbohydrate we studied one bond that is a glycosidic bond isn't it okay in this concept we'll discuss a peptide bond two or more a uh, two amino acids are connected to each other by this peptide bond okay let us see what is then peptide bond peptide bond chemically is an amide bond okay it's a amide functional group formed between cooh group and nh2 group okay so whenever carbo carboxylic acid group react with a amine group there will be a formation of a amide linkage this uh, we discussed in puc first year organic chemistry okay amide is a organic functional group formed by the reaction of cooh and nh2 this amide functional group is nothing but a peptide bond okay so e protein dali kaliwaga amide gen anbek now peptide anta use martteve don't use the word amide here even though it's a amide linkage we call this linkage bond as a peptide linkage okay the reaction between two molecules of similar or different amino acids okay we are going to study about the structure of protein here so amino acid din the structure form aagutade when two either similar amino acid andre glycine glycine athru irabahudu alanine alanine athru irabahudu athava or different amino acid one glycine one alanine one glycine one uh, proline like that different amino acid or same amino acid reaction proceeds through the combination of what nh2 group amine group of one molecule with a carboxyl group of the other molecule okay simple like helbekadre amino acid the one amino acid one amine group react with a carboxyl group of another amino acid forming a amide linkage that linkage we, we call it as a peptide linkage i will show you how this peptide linkage is formed so this carboxylic acid functional group is cooh isn't it so this is cooh is carboxylic acid group react with a amine group amine group is nh2 okay this is nh2 so there will be loss of water molecule this water molecule is lost so when the water molecule is lost what we get c 
double bond O links with this carbon now links with what? This nitrogen N H this H. Okay, so this link C double bond O NH link is called as what? Amide linkage. Okay, organic compound ali, chemistry ali, amide linkage and theory, but in this protein we call it as a peptide linkage or a peptide bond. Clear? Okay. Now, this results in the elimination, Andre, the reaction between amine group and carboxylic group results in the elimination of what? Water molecule. Elimination of water molecule and what it forms? It forms a peptide bond, COnH bond. Just now I show you, shown you know it is a peptide bond is formed. Okay. The product of the reaction is called a dipeptide. Whenever two similar or different amino acid react together forming a COnH bond, peptide bond, the product formed is called as a dipeptide. Okay. And this dipeptide contain one peptide linkage. Okay. We'll see the structure now. A dipeptide contain one peptide bond or one peptide linkage. Why it's called as dipeptide? Because it's made up of what? How many amino acids? Two amino acids. Okay. We'll see uh, chemical reaction, structural aspect of this uh, formation of a dipeptide. This is uh, amino acid glycine. NH2CH2COOH is glycine. Amino acid react with another amino acid so this is alanine. I have taken two different amino acid. This is glycine. This is alanine. We do reaction act. Real reaction act today. COOH group react with NH2 group. Okay. So COOH group react with NH2 group. Andre. Okay. So there will be loss of water molecule. No. So this OH and one of this hydrogen. So, okay, we can't see that. So this OH group and this hydrogen is eliminated in the form of a water molecule. What we'll get? So there is a loss of water molecule. We are getting this structure. So this structure will inform it. Nodi NH2, NH2, CH2, CH2, CO. This is CO links with this NH, then CH, CS3, COOH. So this structure is called as a dipeptide formed by the reaction between two amino acids called as a dipeptide. Contain how many peptide linkages? Only one. So can you see this square bracket is COnH group? One peptide group is there. So this COnH is called as what? Peptide linkage. Okay. Peptide linkage and the hetare and the structure is called dipeptide clear okay here the dipeptide is formed by the reaction between two amino acid to this dipeptide if one more amino acid react okay e coh jote in on the amino acid then h2 react we will get a tripeptide to the tripeptide one more react tetrapeptide like this okay that we'll see if a third amino acid combines to a dipeptide okay in non the amino acid dipeptide jute combine other re, react other re. the product is called tripeptide formed by the reaction between three amino acid and a tripeptide contains three amino acids linked by how many peptide linkages two peptide linkages okay dipeptide contain one peptide linkage tripeptide contain two peptide linkage is that clear so ili dipeptide and two linkage alla dipeptide contain only one peptide linkage, tripeptide contain two peptide linkages. Okay, we'll get a tripeptide. Similarly, when a four, five or six amino acids are linked together, then the respective product formed are called as what? Four link itandre, tetrapeptide. Five link itandre, pentapeptide. Six link itandre, hexapeptide. N number, many link itandre, polypeptide. That's nothing but what? Protein, isn't it? So, when the number of such amino acids is more than 10, okay, hatto atwa hatte kinta jasti amino acid, vandu kondu link agi through the peptide linkage, then the product is called as what? Polypeptide. So, this polypeptide is a protein. We'll see the definition of protein now. 
ओके सो प्रोटीन इज अ पॉलीपेप्टाइड विथ मोर देन हंड्रेड अमाइनो एसिड रेसिड्यूज हैविंग मॉलिकुलर मास हाइयर दैन टेन थाउजेंड म्यू इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट अ प्रोटीन ओके सो प्रोटीन वेन इट्स अ पॉलीपेप्टाइड नो डेफिनेटली इट्स मॉलिकुलर मास विल बी वेरी हाई दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट प्रोटीन अंत हेते हुए There are some exceptional cases. For example, polypeptides with the fewer amino acids are likely to be called proteins. A polypeptide with the fewer amino acid. And really, now here they more than hundred amino acid are there. But there are some proteins which contain a fewer, lesser amino acids are are likely to be called as what proteins. If they ordinarily have a well-defined conformation of a protein, so if at all a chain contain lesser than hundred amino acid, if it has a well-defined conformation of a protein, such amino chain is also called as what protein. For example, one the example is there. Andre, a example only hundred amino acid illa. How many? Only fifty-one amino acids are there. Can you see this line? Last line, fifth last line, fifty-one amino acid. That is insulin. Insulin is a hormone. Contain only fifty-one amino acid. Okay, so even this to exceptional case, but re all proteins contain more than hundred amino acid residues. Okay, so this is protein. Okay, again again pa protein andre. Protein is a polypeptide which contain more than hundred amino acid residues joined together by a peptide linkage having high molecular mass. Clear? Okay. We'll move to the types of protein. Last class I'll tell you types of amino acids. Okay, don't get confused. Fibrous protein. The name itself tells about this protein. So when the polypeptide chain protein contain polypeptide chain, no. When that chain chain run parallel and are held together by a hydrogen bond or a disulfide bond, then the a fiber like a fiber kind of a structure is formed. That's called as what fibrous protein. Simple like it because the fibrous proteins contain a fiber like structure. When it is formed, when a polypeptide chains run parallel to One another, okay. So in such proteins, fibrous proteins are insoluble in water. They generally do not soluble in water, and this classification is important. Remember the examples as far as examination point is concerned. Examples are keratin protein, and this keratin protein is present in hairs. It is present in a wool. It is present in a silk. Okay, I give an example for fibrous protein. And that hair is an example, wool, silk is an example. And that very badly. That those contain what a keratin protein. Example, how about because keratin or even the muscles contain a protein called as a myosin. Keratin and myosin are examples for fibrous protein. Okay, second example, second sorry, not second example, second type of protein is called. Globular protein, and this structure results arises when look at the name globular, fibrous. The line is to fiber-like structure. Definitely in globular proteins we have a globule-like structure, and this results when the chain of a polypeptide coil around itself. When the polypeptide chain make a coil around itself. We get a spherical shaped structure, and that structure is called globular protein. And these globular proteins are soluble in water, whereas uh, fibrous proteins are insoluble in water. These are fiber-like structure, and these are globule-like structures. Okay, these are the two types examples for globular protein: insulin protein and albumin protein. A albumin, it's a protein. Globular type. Okay, so these are two types of protein. Remember, simple classification. Now we will see.
Ega just now we finished the study of types of protein. We have types of structures of protein. We have four types of structures. They are primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure and quaternary structure. We will see one by one. First one primary structure. This concept is important for competitive examination point of view. I can say previous year board exam dali hanta prashtinda in prashtin bandila. बेरे रीति के लिए दारे डायरेक्ट आगे टाइप्स में लेके लिए लबट कंपटीटिव एग्जामिनेशन से क्या दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज इम्पोर्टेंट फर्स्ट वन प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर एंड प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर किंतु सेकेंडरी सॉरी सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर इस बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड अर्थ किंतु टर्सरी इस कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड कॉटनरी विल Okay, primary structure is very simple. It's a perfect order, orderly arrangement or a sequential arrangement of a amino acids in a polypeptide chain. It's called as what? Primary structure of a protein. If there is any change in that order, any change in this primary structure, primary structure the change and you know, orderly arrangement of a amino acid change as re. The sequence of amino acid creates an entirely different protein. And for a particular protein, there is a sequence. This amino acid is the killing kagbeku, this is killing kagbeku, and the perfect order is there. If our order is not missed, it is changed. Even changed by one amino acid, 100 amino acid chain, one day amino acid change, the protein will be different one. That's called primary structure. Simple one day line, what is the primary structure? It's a primary structure. Orderly, perfect orderly sequential arrangement of amino acids in a polypeptide chain is called primary structure. Clear? Okay. Structure hangi denote on a. This is primary structure. In a gide lay, can you see this colored dots? They are nothing but amino acid. So, n number of amino acids are joined together in a perfect order. Second one. Secondary structure of protein and this structure arises due to the regular folding of the backbone of the polypeptide chain. If this uh, primary structure na regular fold madre, if the backbone of this primary structure is folded, we, uh, we get a secondary structure, regular folding of the backbone of the polypeptide chain and that chain is stable, that chain is uh, regular folding is due to Hydrogen bonding between C double bond O and NH groups. Amide group contains CO and NH. No, C double bond O and NH groups are held together by hydrogen bond. Then the structure will be stable. That structure arises due to the regular folding of the backbone of the primary structure is called as what? Secondary structure. And there are two types of secondary structures. They are alpha helix structure and a beta pleated sheet structure. We will see alpha helix as well as a plate beta pleated sheet structure. Aid structure node on a aid structure solpa points node is raga. You will be this type will be more clearer to you. Okay. Now we will study second structure. Second structure of protein. Two types are there. First one alpha helix structure and Second one is beta pleated sheet structure. Okay, we'll see what is alpha helix structure. This is alpha helix structure. So in again, in order, the polypeptide chain coils up. Secondary structure means what? There is a coiling of the backbone of the polypeptide chain. A coil agi de into a spiral like structure. A spring thara coil agi de. Called as alpha helix structure. Can you see? This is the polypeptide chain. Structural canastada. Adena gide. Coil agide. In the form of a spiral structure. Spring thara. Coil agide. And there exists a polypeptide chain forms hydrogen bond by twisting into a right handed helix with the NH group of each amino acid residue hydrogen bonded to C double bond O of adjacent turn of the helix. Note the structure nodi. 
see here this c double bond o links with this nh through this dotted line can you see this dotted line this is a hydrogen bond this nh links with this c double bond o through this bond this is called as what hydrogen bond this hydrogen bond and these hydrogen bonds make the secondary structure alpha helix structure more stable second type of secondary structure is beta plated sheet structure the peptide chain lies side by side in a zigzag manner so here peptide chains are coil around itself now they lie in a side by side in a zigzag manner can you see can you see this is polypeptide chain whatever the marking i am showing no a pointer torsta idilla red pointer so ya fashion dali ide adu polypeptide chain in a zigzag fashion this is another zigzag fashion this is one polypeptide chain this is another polypeptide chain and this is third polypeptide chain these lie side by side okay now and the two neighboring chains polypeptide chains are held together by intermolecular hydrogen bond again nh group is bonded to c double bond o through hydrogen bond can you see the pointer c double bond o nh links through this hydrogen bond okay a number of such chains can be interbonded and this results in the formation of a flat sheet structure and these flat sheets bend into a parallel folds forming a pleated structure hence the name beta pleated sheet structure so simple words alli even explain madbekadre alpha helix structure dali polypeptide chain coil aagutade spiral structure aagutade and hydrogen bonds of nh group and c double bond o are linked together by a hydrogen bond whereas in beta pleated sheet structure polypeptide chain lies side by side aju baju lie agirtave ya fashion dali zigzag fashion dali again these chains are held together by hydrogen bond between c double bond o and nh clear these are two types of secondary structure so primary structure nodidri nevu structure hengittadu can you see this is primary structure then how to show secondary structure look here yes this is secondary structure can you see sorry this is the secondary structure so what happens coil like there okay in the form of alpha helix or in the form of beta pleated sheet structure we'll see third structure tertiary structure it represents the overall folding of the polypeptide chain overall folding secondary structure is also folding whereas tertiary structure is overall folding of the uh, polypeptide chain that means further folding of the secondary structure secondary structure already fold agittade adu matte fold adre we are getting tertiary structure okay it's a overall folding of the polypeptide chain that is further folding of the secondary structure can you see so this is secondary structure fold agide that secondary structure again what happens further folded we are getting this tertiary structure and this structure becomes stable okay ee rithi itta andre solpa unstable irutade the structure is made stable by the presence of hydrogen bonds disulfide bonds or van der waals force of attraction or even electrostatic force of attraction these are the main forces which stabilize the tertiary structure andre ee ee weld nadive yen irutade either hydrogen bond or disulfide bond electrostatic force of attraction or even van der waals force of attraction will be present between these strands so that the tertiary structure becomes stable simple word alli heladadre further folding of a secondary structure is called tertiary structure last one more complicated quaternary structure some of the proteins are composed of two or more polypeptide chains referred to as subunit alon the word bartha subunit meaning is what when the two or more polypeptide chains present in the protein each polypeptide chain is called as what subunit and the arrangement of this subunit in a space is called quaternary structure very simple you know the spatial arrangement arrangement in a space of these subunits subunits and you know these are polypeptide chains 
with respect to each other is called as what? Quaternary structure. Okay, simple word. Hello, the arrangement of a subunits in a chain is called in the chain is called quaternary structure. The structure will be like this. So can you see this is second structure quaternary structure and tenre ali primary structure nu irbodu secondary structure nu irbodu tertiary structure nu irbodu each structure is called subunit arrangement of this subunit is quaternary structure look at this structure there is a secondary structure there is a tertiary structure can you make out this so ella seri enu form aagutade quaternary structure clear okay so these are four types of types of structures of proteins in answer, summarize Mado Dadre. This is primary structure, this one secondary structure, this is tertiary structure, and this one quaternary structure. Okay, so direct tagi board exam the prasne bandila barbodu. We don't know, but competitive examinations again important. Board exam you barbodu prasne. We'll see the Last concept of today's class, denaturation of proteins. It's a one property of a protein. Okay, denaturation of protein. What is this? It is the process where there is a change in the physical property as well as the biological property takes place. It's a change in physical as well as biological property of a protein. Yavaga takes place by the action of heat, by the action of acid, by the action of alkali or by the action of any other agent. Those agents are called denaturating agent is called denaturation of protein. So simple like that. Protein no tanna physical property loose mud kolodu. Biological property na loose mud kolodu. Yavaga when that protein undergo action of a heat action of acid, action of alkali or any action the agent action they, they are called as what? Denaturating agent. Okay. Simple process. Here is example. Oh sir, it is denaturation of protein. Example. What happens when the egg is boiled? Boiled egg, no? That process is a denaturation of protein. Hmm? When the egg is boiled, egg contain egg albumin protein which is a globular protein okay the globular protein that's egg albumin present in egg undergo structural change yes or no egg boil adaga there will be structural change yes there is a biological property change yes there is a structural change and becomes fibrous protein okay globular protein is the egg albumin in i convert after the fibrous protein which is insoluble in water. Globular protein is soluble in water, whereas fibrous protein is insoluble in water. Andre, there is a change in a physical property, no? Isn't it? There is a change, it loses its biological property. So, that boiling of egg is an example of what? Denaturation of protein. I'll show you what happens during denaturation of uh, uh, egg protein, albumin protein on the diagram. Before that, second example, Coagulation of a milk, curding of a milk, halu musra godu. Okay, so that's a property of a denaturation. Okay, milk protein loses its biological property, physical property. Adhikye nantare denaturation. Okay, milk iti du curda godu. Adhu eno example for a denaturation of protein. During this type, boiling of egg or a curding of a milk, coagulation of a milk, what happens? There is uh, due to this during denaturation globules unfold if the proteins are present in the form of a globular no they gets unfolded and if at all the protein is helix second structure it gets uncoiled unfold aktave uncoil aktave and the protein loses its biological activity that means there is a change in structure the globular foot pro chains unfolded the helical structures uncoiled and uh, the protein loses their biological property and during this the secondary structures and tertiary structures are destroyed whenever the protein is undergo denaturation secondary as well as the tertiary structures are destroyed they lose but but 
very important primary structure remains intact primary structure do not changes okay it's a simple structure primary structure during denaturation does not changes where secondary converted into primary tertiary converted into secondary and primary tertiary secondary primary aagta vada primary change aagodilla okay this is the concept of denaturation of proteins we'll see that product example denaturation of protein can you see here kanastada it's an example of denaturation of protein so raw egg egg ide ha adane en madidare boil madidare high temperature that means there's a action of what heat isn't it so when there's a action of a heat on this protein globular protein albumin protein that converted into okay amlet agide illi nodi ha hard egg okay raw egg becomes hard egg so and this is fibrous protein here is a globular protein and it becomes a fibrous protein it's an example of a denaturation of a protein so note the structure dali nodi so it's a water soluble egg and it becomes a water insoluble okay when when the heat is added so what happens the native albumin undergo denaturation a forming a, a cross linked structure don't worry about that cross linking and all is not there for our syllabus and the third one in this of course diagram you see here what happens the egg boiled okay denaturation aagta ide so this below structure shows that what happens during the denaturation anta heltade so can you see this gem clips gem clips new paper can hakthirla one rithi coil tara ittave okay so say they are secondary structure or tertiary structure anta ankolri so aa coils sorry clips enagide illi a coil iddide straight agide ha so coil na ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಸೊ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟರ್ಸರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಂಟು ವಾಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಡಿನೇಚುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಟರ್ಸರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಡೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಜಂಪ್ ಕ್ಲಿಪ್ಪು ನೀವು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಅಥವಾ ಟರ್ಸರಿ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಆ ಜಂಪ್ ಕ್ಲಿಪ್ನ ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ತಂತಿನ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಅದೇನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಥರ ಓಕೆ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಡಿನೇಚುರೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರಲ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಈ ಈ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಏನು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಲೈಮ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಮ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಸಿಡ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಅಸಿಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಡಿನೇಚುರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ದ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲ್ಕಲಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ನಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಟು ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಸಿಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ವಾಟ್ ಕರ್ಡ್ನು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿನೇಚುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿನೇಚುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ನೋಡೋಣ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ಸ್ July 2014 question 36th C what is denaturation of protein give an example of alpha amino acid okay here beko what's the denaturation there is a change in the structural property biological property of a protein whenever there is action of heat alkali or uh, uh, acid take place okay that's a denaturation tell me uh, okay mention any one example of a alpha amino acid carries to mark another question in the march 2015 question paper 36th b what is meant by denaturation of protein same question which level of structure remains intact during denaturation of globular protein okay so denaturation of protein definition but there one mark under mark which level structure remains intact and yav change aagodilla intact aagi yavdu ulitare tertiary no secondary no yavdu primary structure answer is primary structure remains intact during denaturation of protein july 2016 36th c what are fibrous proteins given example okay example illi hair wool silk bari bardo yavdo 
ಕೆರಾಟಿನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಮಯೋಸಿನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಬಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗ್ಲೋಬಿಲಾರ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಎಕೆಲ್ಬುಮಿನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲಿನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಲಿಂಕೇಜ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಟೆಟ್ರಾ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಟು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ವಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಲಿಂಕೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆನ್ ಅ ಕಾರ್ಬಾಕ್ಸಿಲಿಕ್ ಎಸಿಡ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಅಮೈನೋ ಆಸಿಡ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಅಮೈನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನದರ್ ಅಮೈನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಸಿ ಒ ಎನ್ ಎಚ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಲಿಂಕೇಜ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಟೆಟ್ರಾ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ನೋ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟೆಟ್ರಾ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೂರು ಲಿಂಕ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ತ್ರೀ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಓಕೆ ಜುಲೈ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಟೂ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೈ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ವರ್ಷದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಡಿನೇಚುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ವಿತ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಟು ಮಾರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ದಿ ನೇಚುರೇಷನ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ಸೊ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಎನಿ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಪೆಪ್ಟೈಡ್ ಲಿಂಕೇಜಸ್ then types of protein uh, types of protein and globular protein then we discussed the types of structures of protein and the structures of protein so the protein is the protein protein okay so thank you very much we'll meet you in the next class